Wow, lambing really does want to go out with a bang. I can't even blame a sheep, it was totally me. <laughs> it's my ride. I can just get a lot done. Jump! Greta's from a different mother. Oh, it's so gross. Oh my god, girl, you smell. It's Monday, and it's after lunch. I just thought maybe there was someone lambing again. So let's go see if indeed she is. I'm so easily distracted. No, false alarm. I thought maybe she was lambing, but she's not. So what I'm gonna have to do this afternoon is tag the ones that were born yesterday. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine U's to go through here. And then the ones that got uh, tagged on Sunday, yesterday, they will all be, I'm gonna let all those out and, sh and um, close it up to the water gate. Well, I don't think we could have planned that a whole lot better. I have no lambs today. I'm all caught up with tagging. And Mark needs me to take over on the cultivator today. And I'm actually totally 100% okay with it. I could use a uh, change of scenery and it is a beautiful sunny day. It's cold, but um, nice to get on the land in April oh my goodness last year was like June uh, so yeah just heading down uh, this is the field I think we had to end up ripping it last fall I don't really know where he is so I'm gonna call him hello you've reached Mark Brock I can't take a call really? right now but if you leave your name okay well, we either wait or I go and get a drink. I am pretty thirsty. Maybe I'll go get a drink. Communicate. Oh, there he is! It's my ride. We don't cultivate a lot, but we had to, I said this already, I had to, we had to rip this after we had some manure spread in the fall. And uh, so we are just leveling it out. We're going to cultivate it once, probably pick some stones, cultivate it again right before we plant corn. This is going to go into corn. It was, uh, this, if you remember, this is where I picked up all my straw bales last year. So this was our winter wheat. And then we spread manure, planted cover crop, and then, or sorry, planted cover crop, spread manure, and uh, then we ripped it, and now, in the spring, we are cultivating. So, so quite a few tillage passes that we don't usually do. We usually try to strip till it, uh, but last, but like I said, uh, the manure went on late last fall. It got a bit wet when they were finishing it up, so there's a little bit of compaction, so we just wanted to open up the field to make sure uh, we got rid of those compaction points to grow the corn. I do like cultivating, but I know it's not the best for the soil. I can just get a lot done.
Well, I wasn't gonna sign off on the tractor without having a little peek at my girls before I went to went to the house. Um, there is no one, I think, gonna lamb tonight. They're not even looking interested. Chewing their cud, sitting up, not pacing or anything. So I think we're probably good. I just want to take one last gander at the lambs. Carissa came in and fed my lambs for me tonight, so that's great. I am absolutely convinced now a good lambing for me with multiples. I need a second person just on lambs. So I think from now on, uh, if I can get her or someone else after school even, just to make sure bottle babies are trained and fed. Me and her had such a good system that knock on wood, we have not lost any bottle lambs, any transfer lambs. I have all twins on mums, nothing over a twin. And uh, they look really good and it's all thanks to her. She did all that, she did, she did it all. I didn't train one lamb this, this go around. So I am absolutely convinced that a successful lambing this size requires two people. Uh, me for the main organizi organizing and she did all my chores and she did all the lamb training, so I am so grateful that um, that I've had her. Hi, Ruby. Hi, sweetie. You want your evening scratch? Okay. Okay. There's goat. Goat is on the loose. Hi, Rusty. How's my boy? How's my boy? Rusty. No babies. Nothing? Nothing. What about you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is a quiet morning. It's so peaceful out here, but it is snowing outside. So I was in the field yesterday and it's snowing today. It's just, oh my goodness. I had enough to do today that I thought I better just get up. I want to go across the road and weigh a few lambs. We do consume our own lamb and we've been going through meat in our freezer like crazy because guess what? We don't go to the grocery store very much anymore. So it's amazing how much stuff you actually have when you have to use it. Something like lamb, it's one of those things I don't usually eat it all the time but we've, eat, we've been eating a lot of it because it's hard to get to the grocery store and we do online shopping so it takes about two weeks before we get our order so it's nice to have some inventory these guys all should get let out today and then we've got a really big pen Morning, my boys. Billy. Oh, he's playing hard to get. Billy. Oh, you're being a snobby. Well, that took a little bit, but we got uh, we got a handful in here just to go through, and I want to get anything close to 100 pounds. So five lambs at about 100 pounds. Just gonna scan it. Just like that, I have five already. So, I'll, I have all these still out, so I have to uh, put them back in their pen. And, uh, yeah, hook up the trailer and 
head to town. Well, the good news is they went on, no problem. The bad news is my camera fell. So it's still working, hopefully. My zoom, the little zoomy part is bent. I can't even blame a sheep, it was totally me. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna buy a new camera. I've had it since like my first Christmas vlogging. Sad face. That took way longer than it usually does. Uh, there was a lineup at the abattoir and I waited for probably 40 minutes and then realized the guy in front of me was not in his truck. So there's that. I am starving. I'm gonna run in and have breakfast. And then while I've got the trailer hooked up, I think I might grab the billies and bring them over to the big barn now that I have a chance. What are you doing? Huh? You having a baby? I think so. Lambing is going out with a bang. This is the first time I've had two bums and a head. The problem is, so, and I got them out, no problem. Like I was able to close my eyes and literally just uh, manipulate till I got the lambs. The two that were coming out backwards were stillborn. So they were, there was nothing. And of course I've got no lambs that I could foster. <laughs> Uh, and it's too late for the bottle babies because we've been working so hard getting them on that machine that I don't want to pull them off and confuse them again. So there's the mom and the baby. I think there's at least two more that are ready to go like today or tomorrow. Checking in on my bellies, see how they're making out. Looks like they're doing fine, eating all the feed. Hello. How do you like your new digs? Hi. Come here. What do you say? Oh. You guys are identical. Not even related. Well, you're probably related, but not 
You have different mommies. Hey. Greta's from a different mother. Hey. Identical. You're a little different, aren't you? Yeah, you got the teardrop. Yes, like a clown. William, did you see your boys were here? Hey? <laughs> did you see your boys were here? They've come home. The boys have come home. Mm -hmm. I wonder where they get their personality from. No idea. Must be mom. Hey? Oh. What I want to do this afternoon, I really want to get these guys on creek. And my clostridial vaccine hasn't come in yet, but I still have some left over from my last group. So I'm going to do as many as I can today because I really don't want them going on the creek without getting some sort of uh, clostridial vaccine into them. Okay, I've got all my stuff here. I've got my Gallagher. I'm going to scan everybody's ear tag so I have it recorded. That is the antitoxin. That is the Tazvax if I run out of antitoxin. And then I have some extra syringes and needles and some spray paint. I will mark their tail end so when I'm chasing them, I'll know which ones I did. So I'll just show you here what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the session, obviously. Make, make a new session. So create new session. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just make it uh, vaccinate. Uh, spell. Bottle. Lambs. Enter. And then, so for activities, uh, I'm going to put a clostridial vaccine over. Okay, and then every time I scan the lamb, it'll say that it's getting a clostridial vaccine. And I will also add that it's a bottle baby. And then they're marked down as their bottle baby. Okay, and then when I scan the first tag, that all that should populate. And then I don't have to click it for every lamb that I do. So April 21st, 20, vaccinate bottle lambs. So everything's good. The, um, this is the clostridial stuff. I get it from my vet. Um, and this is a five mil dose for that. And then... lambs got done right there and as I scan them it all my information came in so all her birth information still there but also just all the stuff of me doing it the date the time well the time's wrong but whatever it's the date and then the stuff I added so clostridial vaccine and bottle baby what happened to that lamb. I'm gonna have to 
I'm gonna have to go through my footage when I was gonna get the Clostridial vaccine to make sure it wasn't, it was not doing that. It was not huffing and puffing like that. I'm wondering if it's choking a bit. So weird. Okay, so I got their feeder up, right there. And I just gave it a little bit of creep just to start, just to get them started. And I also added another nipple. I fixed the one, the far one. Fixed the far one, and then I added another one. So there's four nipples in there. Every nipple can do 15 lambs. There's only 30 lambs in here, so there's oodles of milk available. Um, they always just always flock to one. It's kind of annoying. So what, all I'm gonna do now is add a pail of water so they can get used to water and used to feed. They're already nibbling, which is good. And then in a week or so, I'll start adding some hay, dry hay, and they can just play around with that too. But um, yeah, they look pretty good. Wow, lambing really does want to go out with a bang. So I've been treating a ewe with retained placenta, and uh, today I see why she hasn't expelled it yet. There is a dead lamb coming out. So I have her in the pen and I have to help her extract, and it really smells. I have never had this before. I don't know what is going on today. It's like topsy-turvy. Oh, it's so gross. It smells so bad. So, I'm going in. She looks much better than she smells. I will tell you that. Uh, I've never experienced this yet. And, whew, stomach of steel, I tell you. All right, I'll let you out so you can see your baby. Oh my God, girl, you smell. You're not gonna make a lot of friends today. Okay, bye. You're welcome. No problem. Let me get this out of here. This drives me crazy. It's a good thing I went back to check on her. I actually went to check to see if there's any more lambs and uh, she caught my eye. Oh my goodness. Oh, the smell. Ooh. On that note, I'm gonna go to the office and uh, get ready for my group that I wanna see her in the morning.